May I help you? Building permit, please. I'm building my new dream home. Ah, the sounds of birds in the morning, crickets at night, nature right outside my back door. Have you checked to make sure that there aren't any wetlands where you plan to build? Well, there's no puddles or ponds, and I've never seen any ducks or cattails there. Wetlands aren't always obvious. Some of them are ephemeral. Say what? Ephemeral or seasonal wetlands are dry most of the time, but they can have standing water in the spring. In fact, Wisconsin's got more than a dozen different kinds of wetlands. Everything from floodplain forests along lakes and streams, to meadows, even prairies and shrub thickets. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yep, I'm talking sump pump here. Wetlands make a terrible foundation for a building, but they're great at preventing flooding of nearby basements, streets, and cities. You see, wetlands are big, fat sponges. They soak up water and store it. They also keep our lakes and rivers clean. They're home for frogs, turtles, and salamanders, and they're a great place to hunt, hike, and bird watch. Because of all these things they do for us, wetlands are protected by state and federal laws. Sometimes there are local laws as well. Do you know that nearly half of Wisconsin's wetlands have already been destroyed? So that's why it's really important to keep the ones we've got left. We want future generations to enjoy them and benefit from them. Okay, okay, I get the picture. So, what do I do? First, there'll be a little geography. Then you'll need to put your boots on the ground for a little geology and biology lesson. Then it's time to call in the pros, and if you have a wetland, evaluate your options. Jeez, that sounds complicated. Well, it's not really, and I'll walk you through it. You can begin at any point on this disc or take the topics in order. I recommend you watch them all.